this is Crafty K and I have a special guest today. She's my um, very good friend. Her name is Deanna. Say hi. Hi. And today we are going to be making these dream, dream catchers. catchers out of yarn. Yeah, so these are very cool. And very pretty. Yeah, super pretty. And so let's begin. What you will need for this craft is yarn, yarn with yeah. thin, thin yarn. Yeah, but you can use thick yarn, but it won't be as good with thick yarn. And some hot glue, two popsicle sticks, some gems that will go in the middle of your craft. These are optional, but they are very good, um, and they are totally recommended by us. And, and beads. beads! Beads are so good because when you make your um, tails of your thing, you, you would probably need beads, but you don't really need to use the... So the beads are again optional. Yeah. So... two popsicle sticks and glue them in hot glue them in a plush shape plus shape and once you do that oh and make sure you use hot glue it's best to use hot glue you don't have to but it's, it's best, recommended yeah because um it will help in it sticking better and, and make sure to be careful when you do that and we'll see you when we glued when it's all Glued. So, so we just finished hot gluing this thing together, and we made this. Um, you, if you put it this way, it's an X, and if you put it this way, it's a plus sign. So this is what you want. Or a multiplication sign. <laughs> yeah. You can call them other things. <laughs> yeah. So this is what you're probably supposed to have. And if you don't, it's okay. It will. It's okay if it's a little weird shaped. Yeah, but it's totally fine. And so we are going to start the main part of this next. So by the way, this is the main part. We're going to start threading in the yarn. Um, yarn. And to and it's going to we're gonna first start by making a middle and then we're gonna start weaving it in on all four sides. Another, by the way, this is the yarn we're going to be using. We're going to be using self-changing yarn so we don't have to worry about having to tie a different color in. And it looks really pretty, like it will look like the colors automatically changing. Like in this, you have a little bit of green at the ends and at this you have a little bit of pink in the middle like that see it's really pretty yeah okay the next step is to take this put it like under like, like under so. like so um, and then just so you're gonna play this and then put it like that and then you're going to take this and basically tie a knot so this is going to be your back of the, the of the dream catcher. dream catcher sorry I just forgot about that <laughs> what it was called okay so I'm tying it and this may take a little bit of a process so we'll be right back So now we just finished the knotting of the back. Yeah, see, we just tied it a few times. We don't, you don't want to just tie it once. You want to make sure you tie it a few times in the same spot just to make sure it stays in place. So I'm just going to tie it one last time just to be sure. <laughs> yeah. Oops. So there, it just tied and now we have to start the process of making 
the sides and the middle part of the craft. So the main part of the craft is this and this is how you are going to do it. You first, you're going to grab the string, hold the sticks in on the corner right here like this. Then you're going to take this, wrap it over like that. So again, wrap it over like that. And you're going to continue doing that till it's a little bit wider. Like it's really easy. So all you got to do is just keep on wrapping it over and it's going to start making a form. So I do a little bit this side and then I go ahead and I do a little bit this side and then you're just going to continue doing that until it gets a little bit more covered over over here and then yeah by the way quick tip is dun, 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 instead of instead of struggling when you are like this and you're trying to go on this side, you have to like overlap it and make sure these two are separated. All you have to do is, so I'm working on this side. And then if you want to do this side, all you gotta do is, so from here, switch it. So it's like this and then hold it like this. And then it's easier to just continue wrapping on this side. So that's a quick tip. tip. After you've done a, like, a lot of that, not like too much. You should have something about like this. Yeah, so it's not too thick, not all the way up here, just about in the central part of it. The next part is you're going to take it and, and you're going to you're going to hold it with this hand over here. Yeah. From here to here. You're going and then you're going to hold it like make it a plus. Plus plus. Hold this side. So basically you're just gonna make it this way. So from here to here, there. like that. So you want the string from this side, you want it to go under and to this side. And then, no, nah, -uh -uh. from this side, not to this side, but from this side to this side. So like from here around to here. And then you're just gonna continue that same thing, but this the other way. way, okay? So we're gonna come back when we have a big bunch on that side. Yeah. And by the way, as you get better, you'll start to be able to get that very like clean line like that. Like I can go faster and that will help you. And, and as you practice this, you'll get better. So I'm just working on this side first and then I'll go back on this side like. So we're just that. about to go onto the other side. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've done this much on this side. So now if you want to start doing it on this side, you just got to take it from this side and actually put it on this side if, to make it easier. If you want, you can just start doing it like this, but it's a little bit more harder. See, that string just came in the way. That's a problem. So if you want it more easier, take it, just flip it. So like, take this and put it on this side and then start doing it like that on this side. And if you're, you're left-handed, you would do the opposite. And you would always start on this side and do it on this side first. And then you would flip it this way to do it on this side. So yeah, we're gonna come back one way down the other side. So now we finished doing the other side. So now we're gonna show you the next step. The next step is to do my favorite part, the ends. Okay, so we just touched it up a little bit and now we're going to start doing the outer border thingies, wingies. Yeah, the outer border thingy wingies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bing, bing. Okay, let's begin. So, this is how you do it. I'll just pause the video to give it to Deanna because I want Deanna to try. So this is what you're going okay, to do. Okay, so, you, you, so your, your yarn is going to be like that. Okay, yes. it's going to be Just over like, top okay. of this. You want to take it and, and put it, hold it there and put and it go under. under. Then you're going to go wee. around two times. So you're going to take it 
and it's gonna be over top like that okay it's gonna be on top you're gonna take it you're gonna put it under uh -huh. this one so this one this one's okay so since this one's on top you want to take it and you put it under that, that one. one okay and then the next part is you go around on it is you take it and you put it once around no, once so once it's around once yeah. then you take it mm. sorry yeah so then you take technical it. difficulties here so what we all what well, all we have to do is instead once you bring it down you're not going to be wrapping it on this one you're going to take it and just go around so around you're not it. going to wrap it like that you're just going to put it on top like just like that and then <laughs> you're going to pull it and then you're just going to put the it on the one. next one and then you wrap it the once next. put it on this one wrap it once Put it on this one. It's basically that. That's all you're going to do. And then we're going to just, you're just going to repeat that all the way through. And we'll see you when we are in the middle. Yeah. So I we just did four parts. So four lines. See, one here, one here. One is this one. If you cannot really see it. And then one over here. So the rest, when you want it like extra, like clean and crisp and not wonky donkey, <laughs> all you got to do is you, once you, you, you wrap it around that thing and then you're going to follow it as if this is like your um, director almost. So it's going to direct you to the next one. So you just put it right beside that one and then you continue right beside this one and you're following in the footsteps of the director yeah basically and that's all you're going to continue doing till you get to the this part stop there because we're going to explain what you do next again re-explaining it just to make sure you got it like 100 percent take it use these director lines that's what we call it it's basically like what you've already done like i've done more because i've already done a little bit and so has deanna because we're taking turns so you take it follow these two these these two like this v this is also very helpful director line so when you go over here you're going to take it see this not this you're not going to start make you're not going to start wrapping it like that so you wrap it once, and then you're going to take and use this line right here and guide you to the next spot. Okay? Just like that. And then you keep on doing that as you go. And then and then we'll start making that pattern right on the edges. So, I just continued this up, and you can see you want to pull as you go, so it's nice and tight. tight you want to pull it, and then you do that, and then you wrap, like that. Nice and tight, okay? And as you go, you will get something like this, and we're, as you get a little bit closer, like a very little bit closer, we're going to update on you. You do not want to go too far, like up to here, because that's going to be too, too far. We could Stay actually about a centimeter away from the end. Yeah. And if you, if, um, especially for beginners, you don't want to make it like accidentally fall off and then you have to restart the whole thing again. Yes. That's why it's best to stay a little bit far from the end and it actually looks prettier that way. Okay. You should not go probably more than this because this is probably how much you want to do. You could do more, but it's sort of risky. So and not recommended because see right here, it's already kind of. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you how to end it off and so you can start putting some of your beads gems, and gems and strings, strings and all of those super beautiful things next. So this is how you end off. Ooh. So this is how we're going to do it. And we forgot to mention that you're actually going to need scissors, but yeah, yeah, we're going. you're going to need scissors. So this is how you're going to end off. You're going to take it, flip it, okay? And so yeah, flip it. And you're going to take a little bit of yarn. It's okay if you have extra. So I'm gonna take about 
that much of yarn, okay? And then you're going to take it and snip it there. And now that you're done with that, you are going to take this yarn. And then you're going to tie it to your middle part of this. Or you can tie it to the side, but I think it looks better in the middle. So just make sure that things align or else it's going to look a little bit weird. So donkey. align it. We don't want it to be a wonky donkey. Yes. We want it to be a charm. Okay, so now you're going to take this and I'm going to loosen it on one stitch so it looks nice that way so it can align with this diagonally like that and then you're going to take it and string it through one of the things so it's like poke it through like that and pull nice and tight okay and now you're going to take this side and this and you're going to tie it together so you're going to grab that take this put it like that okay so it's a plus and then, you know, just tie a knot, okay? Just tie a knot, simple, okay? Simple. simple knot, okay? Another good idea is to, when you do this, you actually, I, I just cut my thing because it was a little bit too long. And then you're going to stick it through. And when you do that, you have to put really hard and then if you want you have to put like really hard when you stick it through and if you and then you can you just have to tie a knot like normally or if you really don't want to stick it through all you got to do is just find a way to connect this to this and my best best wish play which i'm probably going to do instead of tying a knot was to just take this cut it really short like about this long yep. only that long and then you're just going to take it stick it like that and then hot glue it there just hot glue it there it's just going to stay there but you have to make sure you hot glue it like really tight and not just like dangling because then it can just come undone and then start unraveling your thing slowly so you have to really tighten it really really tight it'll take forever and by the way we're just gonna go do it and we'll be right okay so we just finished hot gluing it in you know what it doesn't have to be purpose okay it doesn't really matter because anyways you're gonna be looking at this side not that side okay so now we are going to make our um tail Okay, so we're gonna show you how to make the tail. The tail. So you're going to need a little bit more yarn. You're gonna string, but I think yarn looks better because um it, it just matches. It matches, yes. And sorry if there's a little bit more noise because um an Amazon guys just come and they're chatting. Yeah, they're, they're talking with my mom about the package and what to do with the package if it's like um if the return like how you would return so um so now we're going to worry about this not worrying about that so <laughs> this is how you're going to make the tail so this is how we do it you are first gonna take this it's best to do so or else your beat you have a chance of your beat just running away off the end <laughs> just tie a knot like that make sure you tie it big in Big enough for the, the beads not to run away. <laughs> um, yeah, run away is the right word. Okay. Um, yeah, that's Deanna laughing. And <laughs> there, I just tied it about that big. See, right with that. <laughs> At the end, I have no idea how I did that. I did not know I could do that, but I just did it. So, yeah. Oh, it just came undone. Sorry! Technical difficulties. We're just going to fix it up and then we'll be back. So, once you got your... <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, this is just sort of weird. We just... Uh, the the, <laughs> the tri camera just uh, dropped. Yeah, so... Uh, just... Uh, you know what? Hang yeah. on tight. Okay. 
we're just still laughing from that. So <laughs> it is so funny. So I just tied that knot and now we have these beads. We have more. So all you got to do is basically bead it into that and stop at about here or less. You don't want to do more than that or else it's going to be become a little too, too long, long and hard to tie. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to um, use some of my, uh, my beads and bead, bead it, it in and we'll be right back. Okay, so, so we just finished beading okay. and now we're just gonna tie it to this. So we usually hot glue gun it, so we're gonna just hot glue gun it and then we're finished. So we can you can hot glue it like this or you can tie it. We're just gonna hot glue it because it's much faster. Okay. So now we have hot glued the tail on. And if you want, you can make one short one here and then one short one here. So we're actually done unless you wanted to add something in the middle. So we're just going to add it and then you're done. Or you can add some more um, of the tails on the sides if you want it longer. Like, Or you could do all like yeah. that. Yeah, like this one. This one, one Which here, one really here, dirty. and then one here. And then, yeah. So we're just gonna do it and then we'll be back. Okay, so we now done. we, we just have finished. finished. And so we are done. So these are my other ones that I made. And, and this is the newest. Yay, so. And good thing it's fall, because they're actually, it's actually fall colored. Yeah, and I actually have a copy of this. I didn't bring it. Um, um, it looks exactly the same somehow. It's really cool. So, hope you like this video. Bye! And remember to subscribe!